Boom, she nailed it right off the cuff. Right off the cuff. Buenos dias and happy, happy Saturday. We're hitting the trails up here at Summit Trails in Fullerton. Alright guys, 3.2 mile walk. It was a hilly, hilly walk. It was nice. Yeah, let's get this day going. So after our workout today, again, we are having another bowl, but at a different place at Jamba Juice. This one is a peanut butter bowl. Pretty typical scene, we've got, um, oh, thanks, hon. We've got coconut, strawberries, uh, blueberries, banana, and acai, and a little honey drizzled on top. Cheers. This is one of my favorite parts. It's like running on the bulls. Teach, you gonna go get it? Ready, go. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> Here is the dealio. I am back in this backyard area. You know what's happening. There's a shed slash office creativity space coming in soon. And my goal today is to dismantle this, this planter box and what's left of that one. So essentially bring these down to the ground level and uh, remove all of the earth out of here and into just another part of the yard for now until I can get rid of it all. I've been putting in some work. Here's what it looks like. Pretty much Pretty much destroyed both those mounds, cleared that out. That's phase two. Phase three is to take down this fence and then also to get the rest of the brush out of the way and get it to just dirt. So that will be tomorrow. Now it's time for a shower. Boom. All right, gang, we're at a friend's house for dinner and this is called Pozole. Right? Jax, do you know the history of Pozole? I do not. Okay, we're gonna have to ask Letty. We're gonna have to ask Letty and Roberto. We just left our friends' gathering, and so, anyways, the pozole that we were trying to find the answer to, nobody really knew what pozole was like. Uh, not necessarily good for, but what was the tradition behind pozole? So, I'm gonna do a little thing on pozole right. Well, not now, in a little bit. Look what Dad got. They forced me to do it, guys. I did not. It's Saturday night. We're in the house. Don't believe me, just what? Look at so, that. and I got, just what in case, flavors? this is butter pecan, no, butter pecan, rocky road, and cookie dough. It's just one night, guys. It's just one night. I promise you. It's just one night. <laughs> I do have some more information on pozole, but Brie is answering the question, why do we always get thirsty after eating ice cream? Brie? Very official. Well, Brie, why do we get thirsty after eating ice cream? Well, it's not because of the salt in ice cream that we become thirsty after eating them. Sugar actually gets absorbed in our bloodstream and pulls out the water from our cells. This triggers the brain to make the body thirsty. And that's why she just, boom, she nailed it right off the cuff. Right off the cuff. All right, I have some more information about pozole. So pozole is a definitely, traditionally, a Mexican soup or meal. 
Pozole actually translates to hominy. Hominy is the little round little things that look like little potato round like kick cereal kind of things. Anyways, that's pozole, which is hominy. A few other things that is actually in pozole are some, they're actually garnishments such as, such as, so, such as onions, radish, cabbage, and occasionally some lemon and some, maybe some chili, you know, kind of stuff. Salsa, some salsa. Okay, but the history, the history people, I don't even know, I, I don't know if you're ready for the history. I'm not sure you are ready for the history. I wasn't ready for what I just read. So from the Universidad de Mexico and some kind of anthropology uh, unit within that university, it is said that prisoners once, the ritual was that prisoners, once they were sacrificed and they ripped out their hearts, after they ripped out their hearts, they actually chopped up the humans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They chopped up the humans and they actually mixed that with the maiz, which is corn, and put it into the pozole. Yeah, so there was like human-like flesh up in there. I don't think you were ready for that, because I was not. And I had pozole tonight, but I'm pretty sure um, the meat wasn't human, it was actually pork. And that's pretty traditional for most pozole meals. It has pork. All right, guys, that's it. Remember, always sprinkle a little pozole into your life or some fun. And remember to always keep it fun enough. We're going to do this again tomorrow. Woo! Hey guys, this is Brie, so this is not the joke of the day, but I'm actually here to tell you that last week I went to VidCon and pitched an idea for a TV series pilot. And you can go vote for it, the link will be down in the description. You can vote every day until July 13th, but even one vote would be much appreciated. So click the link down below, watch the video, see my pilot, and vote. Thanks, bye.